Here's my Harbor Freight uh, bead roller, $189, and about a $30 or $40 stand. Made modifications to it, giving it a handle right here, as you can see. More importantly, adding this L channel or L bracket to top and bottom really adds a lot of strength to this thing so now you won't get any flex also since this is a two-person job with a hand crank uh, I found some spare parts and fabricated a chain drive system off this electric motor and then a little 12 volt converter 110 to 12 volt converter and it works very nicely fabricated this bracket and welded it to the gear section and then lock bolt to hold it where it's at and the most unique function as you can see down here is the foot controller which was not made by Logitech it was originally uh, this is a car steering wheel gas pedal brake pedal uh, part for like a an Xbox you know or PC uh, gamer um, I took the guts of it out and basically used everything else to control the bead roller so let's turn it on right over here turn the power supply on now we're ready you just make sure your your dies are set correctly and then you As you can see, it functions very nicely. Now this job is a one-person job. Uh, I welded on some solid stock, as you can see, just to hold the different dies. And we've got a little room to add some more. Uh, we could have cleaned the welds up a little bit better, made this disappear and, and look nice and pretty, but this is a shop tool. Uh, it's designed to work, and that's it. It doesn't have to be real pretty. That's why it's all black. But it works pretty good.